How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Junluka and I'm a second year medical student studying in Canada. Now, if you've seen one of my videos before, you know that's pretty much been my intro for the last few now. It's kind of cut and paste. That's how I start off all of my videos basically. But uh, not too long ago, I had someone reach out to me on Instagram. And by the way, for everyone that's ever reached out to me on Instagram, you know that eventually I get around to everyone when it comes to questions or anything like that. But this particular student reached out and said, hey, I, I know you're a second year medical student, but uh, what medical school are you at specifically? And uh, here it is, MacMed, baby McMaster, the Marauders. Here we are, second year medical student studying at McMaster. Okay, and don't worry, I didn't pull the mug out on them, but I did answer that I was a second year student at McMaster. And then to which they answered, how come you're not studying at U of T? Come on, don't, don't do that. The, the, the U of T Mac Med rivalry is very much a thing and we're team Mac Med right over here. I'm just playing around. But the moral of the story is that the student then went on to send me a rank list of the Canadian medical schools and was trying to explain that they wanted to go to U of T really badly because it was ranked really high up on this list. So what we're gonna be doing today is actually going over the 2021 McLean's list of the best medical schools in all of Canada. And I mean, spoiler alert, I've already gone ahead and looked at the list myself. And do I think that this is the definitive guide to what the best medical school in Canada actually is. No, uh, the list I don't even think is all that reliable. They've left out two of the Canadian medical schools. They don't mention the uh, Memorial University of Newfoundland and they don't mention the Northern Ontario School of Medicine. But uh, as far as I know, McLean's is the only publisher that tries to make any attempt at all at comparing the different schools and giving them a, a numerical value. And uh, I'm a big fan of the friendly competition. So I'll tell you what, we're gonna start with the list and at the very end, I will give you my own thoughts about how I think the different schools kind of stack up. And if you have any thoughts, you agree, you disagree with the list, any points you wanna save, about the schools, leave them in the comments below and let's do it. So first things first, the McLean's ranking system compares the different schools. Here they have 15 schools and they're gonna compare them in 13 different categories. So that is student awards, student faculty ratio, student satisfaction, faculty awards, social sciences and humanities grants, medical science grants, total research dollars, operating budget, library expenses, library acquisitions, scholarships and bursaries, student services, and then finally a program's reputational survey. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the information up on the screen as we go through, and that way you could compare the different schools and the different categories because there's a lot. So feel free to pause the video and check and compare. But from my understanding, lower scores equal better. Anything closer to one means that they did better in that category. But anyways, starting from the very bottom, the two schools that are tied for the bottom spot on the 2021 list are going to be the University of Saskatchewan and the University of Manitoba. The University of Saskatchewan is gonna be located in Saskatoon, Saskatchewan, and the University of Manitoba is gonna be located in Winnipeg. In 13th place, we then have the University of Sherbrooke, which is located in Sherbrooke, Quebec. And then after that, we have the other two Quebec medical schools tied for 11th place. So that is going to be Laval and the University of Montreal, both of which tied for 11th place. And Laval, Sherbrooke, and Montreal are going to be the three French-speaking medical programs. In spots eight, nine, and 10, we essentially have a three-way tie this time. So all three schools are gonna be tied for the eighth spot. We have the University of Ottawa, we have Western University, and the University of Calgary. So that is the Cuming School of Medicine. All three are gonna be tied for the eighth spot. Moving up now a little higher, so it's gonna be above the 50th percentile, the, the top 50 for all of the Canadian medical schools apparently, is going to be Dalhousie University in seventh place. And then right on top of Dalhousie is going to be the Alberta School of Medicine or the University of Alberta. That's going to be the second medical school in Alberta because Calgary is the first one and the University of Alberta is the second one. Dalhousie is gonna be in Nova Scotia. And then finally now, top five. I'd love to hear if anyone wants to guess what you think the number one spot's gonna be. But starting off in number five, is going to be Queen's University, which takes the top five spot. And then right on top of Queen's is going to be McMaster University. We were number four, supposedly, for 2021. Uh, this is really the only school that I have any ground to comment on, I guess. And, and looking through it, uh, I see here that we scored really highly in total research dollars, which makes a lot of sense to me because McMaster is known for like a really research intensive uh, school and there's lots of opportunities that I've been able to see so far. And student services, we got number one and I can agree with both of those. Medical science grants, we scored very highly on and then also uh, library acquisitions as well. We, we do have a pretty strong library um, and student services that you could access there. Okay, and I'm not being salty at all here, I promise, but I did some math. I think there's a little bit of an error here because McMaster actually scores lower points and therefore should be higher up on the list than the third place spot, which is UBC. If you add everything up, McMaster gets 88, UBC gets 90 points, but I guess some categories must've been weighted a little bit stronger than others. So UBC takes that third spot. Main campus is gonna be in Vancouver. I actually had a chance to go and visit UBC. 
uh, a few years ago now and it's an awesome school when I passed by anyways. Had a lot of friends that went there too. Uh, yeah, and they say it's a great program. And coming in at the number two spot is the University of Toronto main campus located in Toronto. And they scored very highly across the board in a few different categories. Faculty awards, uh, total research dollars was high, reputational survey was right at the top. They scored a little bit lower in the student faculty ratio and then also the student satisfaction categories. But yeah, I think well-deserved number two spot from everything that I've heard from my friends. And finally, the number one spot for the top ranked school, according to the McLean's anyways, in 2021 is going to be McGill University. They scored a total of 52 points when I added everything together. So they're right at the top in a bunch of categories. Student awards, scholarships and bursaries, library acquisitions, reputational survey, they were number three as well. Uh, they are, as of 21, the highest ranked uh, Canadian medical school. And uh, I was a little bit surprised at first. I wasn't expecting to see them at the top but uh, well-deserved, I think. And that's gonna be the entire list. So I mean, you know, when everything's said and done, fourth place, I can't really be too disappointed in that at all. I love the school that I'm at. And uh, it's gonna be interesting to see how this list changes. And then even if you look back, like it shows how schools change from a year to year basis. So I'm looking forward to seeing 2022's next year, but more so just for the fun of it and seeing what the survey finds, because I'm gonna go ahead and talk now about why I think that this survey at the end of the day doesn't really mean much when it comes to deciding what medical school that you want to go to. Like the takeaway message from this video is that you are not going to be looking at a survey like this to pick what medical school you want to go to. Instead, and in my opinion anyways, I think the three most important things that you need to consider when picking what medical school is best for you, first of all, is getting in. Medical school has become such a competitive process to try to get in that there's not many people that are ending up in a situation where they get to choose between two, three, or four different programs. But if this does apply to you, if you were that applicant that ended up with three or four different acceptances. First of all, congratulations. But the most important things, in my opinion, number one is what is the residency matching rate like for that particular school? And when you go ahead and look at all of the different schools in Canada, the residency matching rates are actually very high and there's minimal changes between all of the different schools. It's in the high 90s with only a one to 2% difference between the different schools. So in that regard alone, I don't really think that you could really go wrong in picking any of the different Canadian schools. Which is now gonna bring me to the second most important thing, which is what is your social economic situation like. Where are your social supports located? If you grew up in Ontario, for example, and all your family and your friends are located here, and you get accepted to the University of Toronto versus the University of Calgary, and you get the opportunity to pick one or the other, I think it's nice at the end of the day to have some family and some friends that are close by. Because medical school is hard sometimes, and it really is nice, at least in my experience anyways, when times were normal, to still be able to get together with your friends uh, at least one day a week or even for a few hours at the end of a busy study week. And then on more of the economic side, does saving $25,000 in tuition sound like something that you might be interested in? Because if that's the case, you're probably better off going to one of the three-year programs like the University of Calgary's program or McMaster. The three-year programs are going for somewhere around $78,000 when everything's said and done versus the four-year programs that are about $100,000 to about $110,000 depending on what school you go to. And finally, the last important factor that I think people should be taking into account versus just looking at these online surveys is what learning style do you do best with? Like at McMaster, for example, um, the curriculum is designed to shift away more so from traditional lecture styles to more of the PBL or the problem-based learning. And I'd say that more schools over time are slowly starting to adopt this approach too, but that's not to say that PBL is going to work for everyone because I've spoken with many students that say they really didn't like the PBL method too much and they prefer more of the traditional didactic learning. So looking at how the different schools offer their different programs as well, it's gonna be a really important factor in deciding what the best medical school in Canada is for for you really. And that's going to be the take home message. I think that all of the Canadian medical schools are top notch, even the ones that weren't listed on this list. And I hope that in the future you do go ahead and include those two schools if McLean's comes across this video, but uh, they're all fantastic. And at the end of the day, we are all writing the exact same licensing exam and our rate of passing ends up being the same from what I've heard uh, from faculty and things like that as well. So it's going to be a bunch of different factors trying to decide, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope the list was at least interesting. Uh, I'm hoping that in the future we could see McMaster a little bit up towards the top but if not I promise you I'll try my best not to lose too much sleep over it. We'll see you guys all in the next one. I gotta get back to studying. Everyone take it easy.